All right, guys, let's look for some loads. If you watched yesterday's episode, you saw, or I mean, I or go back and watch it, I guess, but you know that I have 22 feet and 6,000 pounds available, okay? Let me show you how to get more results, more loads when you have a situation like mine. Okay, so obviously you open up truck stop and so here's what you do. This is the this you guys just understand that most people don't look for loads like this. Well, or maybe I'm I'm assuming most people don't look for loads like this. Either way, let me know in the comments if you guys look for loads like this. So, we click on new search, we open up the search and we type in obviously I'm in Stockton, so we type in Stockton, California. Okay, what's a reasonable radius for Stockton, California? Like 500 miles? Let's type that in. And we're going down to Orlando, Florida. And what's a delivery radius that's reasonable? 500 miles on Orlando, Florida is okay too? I wouldn't do like more than that. I mean, you can try, but it just gets too big at that point. And so we're gonna do 500 miles on Orlando, Florida. Obviously we're flatbed, step deck, and hotshot. You wanna put both of those in. And we did get a scale ticket, so we have 6,000 pounds available. So that's what we're typing in. And this search should be ready to go. Let's add and close this and see what we get yeah kind of kind of sad as you can see i've been here before i clicked on all this stuff before but if you look there's a total of nine loads nine loads with 500 mile radiuses on pickup and delivery that is kind of ridiculous so what you want to do instead first and foremost open up google maps and find what route you're going to take what route are you logically going to go or could you logically go from stockton california to orlando florida right that's what you want to find out so when you route it from stockton california to orlando florida it gives you basically i-40 and then you drop down on the highways through dallas and drop down through louisiana so anyways this is my load this is the route but you want to pay attention to what other states are good that you're going to be driving through and so for example, when we're opening up our search, don't type in your city or zip code that you're starting out. Don't type in right now, for example, Stockton. Don't do that. What you can do instead is select multi-state. So once you select multi-state, look at Google Maps and reference, figure out what states you'll be driving through. And so obviously because we're in Stockton, we're going to select California, but I-40 isn't too far away from Nevada so or from Las Vegas, so we'll go Nevada. But then again, we could just go up a little bit into Utah and maybe something good comes out of Utah, so we're going to do Utah, Nevada, Colorado, Arizona. Then obviously we're going to be driving through Texas, so we have to do Texas, but instead of coming down into Dallas on those highways, why not just go keep going straight through Oklahoma? Maybe something good comes out of Oklahoma. So we're going to do Oklahoma. We're going to do Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, Illinois. All of these states can have a better load than California at this point. Because I have so much time to deliver my first partial, this is what you can do. You can start rolling and pick up something that's better paying on the road than in California. And so what we want to do is we want to do the same thing. Orlando, Florida. We want to do flatbed, step deck, hot shot, FSD, HS. That's those. 6,000 pounds because that's what my scale ticket said I can take. And we'll do the same five. 500 mile radius on Orlando just like before and let's add and close this search boom you guys mind blown check it out look at these results guys 46 loads compared to what nine this, like this is the best thing that you could do when you're doing long haul OTR hotshot the best thing and then because our restriction is essentially length right because we already put in max weight so our restriction right now is length you want to sort by length which is because we have 22 let's sort by the like shortest loads first right and you could start looking at some of the results like St. Louis Missouri to Pompano Beach Florida it's not unrealistic that we won't go to through St. Louis but this thing is 17 feet 3250 pounds paying 1600 bucks and so it's like okay that's an interesting load. Let's open this up because I'm not seeing any loads that are paying 1600 bucks that'll fit on my trailer in California. I'm not seeing any. So that's why you do this instead because the loads out there that are going to Florida will pay better than the loads out here if there are any. And then you want to briefly look through these results and let's just, so I'm, I want to give you guys a couple examples. So I'm just going to look through all of this and see what's what's decent what's not what i'd be willing to call on and see what's going on really quickly i'm looking through some of these loads let's pop open this colorado springs colorado let's see what what that one is and let's see what else we got now let's go over some of these loads first load st louis missouri to pompano beach florida must have air ride okay never mind that won't work let's keep going fullerton california to orlando florida now this is a decent load but the problem is it's 24 feet long and so i don't know if that's going to work out really well plus look at the pickup date three one that means means we'd have to be in California all the way till the first which I think is Friday that's correct it's Friday so man getting loaded if I wanted to leave by Wednesday I won't have enough time so this load doesn't work out either okay so this would be a good load look 
Riverside, California, that's like Los Angeles, 228, that's, that's exactly what we need, 13 feet. And so let's see how much that is. 3108 minus our previous miles, which is 2,774. That gives us a difference of 334 miles. And so by taking this partial, which 13 feet, maybe it's paying a, a grand? I don't know. It might, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm, I can't tell. But if it's paying a thousand bucks on 300 miles, essentially what it's doing is paying you three dollars a mile on the additional miles moving on let's see what else we got let's check this colorado springs okay 20 feet 1500 pounds boom right away it says no hot shots whatever uh it says nine feet tall so i really wouldn't want to take that anyways but no hot shots close that out let's keep going so look i'm not saying the loads from California would have worked out or can work out. I don't know because I mean, I, I, it's like, it's really early in the morning right now, to be honest, but, but that's not the point. The point is that look at the difference. This, when you open up your search, when you're going cross country, like I am right now, and you open up your search and that res, that search res, gives you more results, it's more likely that you'll find loads. And this took me a while to learn, you know what I mean? To figure out like this, like this is like this, I'm telling, this is four years of using truck stop in one video. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think did you guys already know this is this a good tip bad tip let me know and i will see you guys tomorrow peace